Hey there, boys, girls, or whatever you self-identify as. Sorry, I couldn't resist that joke. So, as you've no doubt noticed, today I'm dressed up as Dio in his snazzy part 3 outfit. Because, as I'm sure you know, it's Spooktober. One of my favourite months. It's getting nice and cold, I don't have to deal with hay fever anymore, and of course, Halloween. A holiday which I have always loved. Probably because you get to wear almost any costume you want, and it's normal for one night. And when I was younger, that was a big deal. Then I found out about cosplay. Uh, but that's not relevant to this video. This video is about spooky bones, pumpkins, spooky bones carved into pumpkins, and why I love good old Hallow's Eve. Now, I don't have any wacky stories about Halloween, but I do love it. It's basically a religion for me at this point. Because in Spooktober, my skeleton jokes are actually relevant. And speaking of skeletons, this is Derek. We bought him on the 18th, and for the rest of the day it was Derek time. I just wanted to show him he has no relevance to the rest of this video. But without further ado, let's get into the spooks and why I love them. Sweets. It's one of the core things that the holiday is built around. And why that is, I honestly couldn't tell you. I seriously have no idea where it came from. Wait, wait a second. It's 2019. We have Google. Huh. So obviously, one of the reasons that it was invented was to boost candy sales, but also to promote goodwill and friendship. Ah yes, nothing says goodwill like early onset diabetes and strangers giving candy to children, because nothing bad ever comes of that. But anyway, I remember that there was this one house that gave out some big fucking marshmallows, and the best part was that they lived like 15 feet away, so it was usually the first house I hit, because I freaking love marshmallows. I think that house also had some really big dogs, but dogs had no relevance to candy. I mean, unless you live in like China or something. So moving on to the next topic. In video games, there are usually events for Halloween in games such as Warframe, Overwatch, or... Uh, Fortnite. No matter the game, they're usually quite fun and add some spookiness to a game. But it's usually better if the devs decide to add a little more than a few outfits and a menu change, like some kind of special event. These are usually found in online games like Destiny 2's Festival of the Lost or World of Warcraft's Hallow's End. I usually take part in events like these, but I don't have anything bizarre that's ever really happened. I'll usually just dress my character up like a skeleton or something and send people to the bone zone. Let's talk about horror movies. Nope. Another staple of Halloween, and it goes hand in hand with our first point. So you may be wondering, why didn't I lump it in the runtime? That's why. So for like two or three years in a row, I went as Captain Rex from Star Wars The Clone Wars because Rex is absolutely awesome. It seriously got to the point where I wore the costume at almost any chance I got. In fact, I think I still have the gun. And the mask. In fact, yeah. Yeah, I do still have them. 
I don't know where the fuck they are, but I have them. But anyway, when I wasn't dressed as Rex, I'd usually go as something with a sword and try to fight other kids that had swords. They weren't usually too keen on it, but I did get like one or two sword fights in my entire trick-or-treating career. And I'm proud of that. So, obviously, I'm too old to go trick-or-treating now, but that doesn't mean that my Halloween spirit is gone. I still answer the door for trick-or-treaters, I make skeleton jokes all year round, and if I feel like it, I'll dress up in my Great War German uniform, or my airsoft gear as a costume to answer the door. I will never stop loving Halloween, and I hope more people get into the spooky spirit. And yes, I am talking about the few people that already have their Christmas decorations up, and the stores that already have advent calendars out, and food with Christmas packaging. So, before I go on a whole thing about that, I think I'll just end the video here. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Whenever the hell that may be. Oh yeah, I also went as a Nazi one year.